Hello everyone, my name is Fuzum Tlang. Today I'll show you how to G reference the scanned map in QGIS or Quantum GIS. So in order to do that, open the Quantum GIS, open the Quantum GIS desktop with grass. Open. So this is the Quantum GIS. First let me show you the scanned map. So go to here, add raster layer, then bring the, the scanned map, open it, add, okay, close. So as you see from here, I have the scanned map, but if you move the pan here, if you move the pan on the scanned map you will see here the random numbers these are random numbers they are not coordinates so we want to have a coordinates longitude and latitude for each points on this scanned map so in order to have those kind of things we need to g-reference this scanned map so let me show you how to g-reference the scanned map in quantum js so let me remove this one remove then in order to g reference the scanned map the first thing we need to do is go to, go to main menu main menu or me menu toolbar then plugins manage and in install plugins then check g referencing tool and then close then here you will see the sign for the georeferencing tool so either you can open it from here or you can open it from raster go to raster and then open the georeferencing tool so then after opening the georeferencing tool go to here open raster and then bring the the scanned map and click ok So as you see from here we have the random numbers if you see the numbers here we have round random numbers so we need to have longitude longitude and latitude for each for each points in this scanned map so after opening the after importing the scanned map go to settings and the transformation settings and then the transformation type select the linear for a resampling method select cubic then for the target SRS select the WGS84 then come here and check load in quantum JS when it is done then click OK so after doing that select zoom in then zoom the first point so we have the grid here so we have four points in this scanned map so we can g-reference our scanned map by using these four points so first let me take the first point so go to here add point then select the proper point okay right click and left click then type the long longitude and latitude our longitude is for for uh, 40 degree 45 minutes so 40 point we have to convert the degree into the minute into decimal degree let me open calculator so 45 divided by 60 it will be 0.75 so our longitude is 40.75 and our latitude is 7.00 this is the first point then zoom out and then zoom in and the 
select the second the second point come here and then put your cursor in the right place and then left click and then add your longitude and latitude our longitude is 1.00 and our latitude is 7.00 click ok so let me go to the third point the third point okay this is the third point left click then our longitude is 40.00 our latitude is 6.75 it is 45 minutes so you can convert it into decimal degree so our latitude will be 6.75 click ok then finally go to the last point which is the false point zoom in okay okay our longitude is 40.75 and our latitude is 6.75 then click OK. So when we georeference our scan map, at least we need to take four points, and the, the points should be uniformly distributed. As you see from here, I have four points, and the points are uniformly distributed. So if you have more grids, you can take the grids uniformly. For example, if you have one here, one here one here and one here so you have to take the grids for the G gcp in the uniform way unless otherwise you are not going to get the accurate your referencing so our we have four points and the points are uniformly distributed so if you see here our mean error is 29 point five five so this is not good at least we have to minimize this mean error so you can minimize mean error by two ways either by putting the gcp in the correct place for example you can move the gcp if you select this one move gcp point by clicking here you can move the gcp so by putting the GCP in the most accurate place, you can minimize the mean error. This is the first way. The other way is go to settings and then transformation settings and then change the transformation type. As you see from here, it is the transformation type is linear. So let me change it into polynomial one then click ok so as you see from here our mean error is reduced to 0 0.75 so this is good because when we g reference we need to put our mean error less than one so our mean error is less than one so this is good so after minimizing our mean error so we are ready to g reference our scanned map go to here and start georeferencing so now we are georeferencing Okay, it is over. Georeferencing, georeference successfully. So, close this one.
if you want to save the gcp points you can save by clicking save for example in my case i don't want to save this card then if you select the pan and if you move the pan you will see the longitude and latitude of this scan map you can see the longitude and latitude for each point if you put your pan in every point you can you can see the longitude and latitude of each point but how can we know that the georeferencing is accurate i'll show you how to verify your georeferencing is accurate or not so go to plugins then manage and install plugins then check coordinate capture close so here we have coordinate capture then start capture so when you click start capture you will see this cursor so you can put your cursor in any point so if you put here so we have two coordinates here so the coordinates are the same and the other way to verify your your referencing is if you if you put because this point is non point so if you put the cursor here so our longitude is 40.75 and our latitude is 7 so if you see we have 40.75 longitude longitude and uh, around 7 latitude so this year referencing process is accurate so we can stop the the process so you can georeference any scanned map by following the same procedure in quantum js so thank you for listening if you like this video please subscribe my channel bye